Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here. How are you today? Um, I'm going live inside the Jumpstart Your Marketing and Business Now group because I want to give you a quick business tip. Uh, in case, you know, I try to, I do videos every week actually, but they don't all come into this group. So uh, make sure you're watching my YouTube channel or getting on my email newsletter uh, for getting access to all those tips because I don't always remember to post them in here as well, which is why I'm talking today about running your Facebook group. And what is so important about running a Facebook group? Why do you need to do it uh, for most of you? And how can it benefit you? And, and as well, how what do you do inside the group? I get these questions all the time from my mastermind clients and at my live events. And so I thought I'd come on and share some things that I've learned along the way from various Facebook experts and uh, people who are running bigger groups and, uh, you know, what I've experienced on my own running this group and, and the other groups that I run. <coughs> Excuse me. So post or comment that you're here if you have any questions about groups or let me know if you have a group and how it's working. Some of you are probably doing even more amazing things than I'm doing um, as far as getting results from your group. What I know is I've heard from uh, Insider Scoop about Facebook is they're really putting a lot more emphasis on the communities these days, community meaning your Facebook group. So yes, while having a business page is still good because it gives great search engine optimization, uh, so things that you put on your Facebook business page get seen on Google more and searches more uh, than perhaps your personal profile and especially your group is not going to be SEO'd. Uh, however, um, over on the business page, most people, not everyone, most people see that they don't have a lot of engagement, meaning a lot of likes, comments, or, or, or shares. Um, what I can tell you, oh, the ones that do get a lot of shares and do get a lot of likes on their business pages, I'm just shooting over there for a second, uh, are the ones that have inspirational quote posts, okay? So, like for example, anytime I don't know what to post on my profile or my group or whatever, I go back to a couple select uh, business pages that I've liked over the years with inspirational, motivational messages, quotes, things like that. Because they're easy sites or they're easy pages to go over to and find a cool post and just share it real quick to all my pages and all my uh, groups. So I do that quickly, uh, pretty often actually, because it makes it so I don't have to go create something every single week. Although my team, my, my assistants and my team still do create content and put out some of those posts myself or, or on behalf of myself. <coughs> um, so business pages, like I'm really bad on my business page. It's mostly promotional that stuff because there's so much going on. I'll promote, oh, this webinar, or this talk, or this event, or this book opportunity, or la la la, right? Uh, or I'll do things like for my blog, I'll, I'll promote blog posts, which is content, so content is good. But what I find, like if people with the hundreds of thousands of, of likes and shares on their business pages, um, or even in the millions, I know people that have millions in their likes on their business page, and they're mostly uh, quote and uh, inspirational stuff heavy. They don't even have hardly any promotional stuff at all, okay? So I know that's hard for my marketing brain to wrap my head around, but I'm just letting you know. Now over in the group, uh, the group is where you want to encourage engagement. You want to ask questions. You want to pose comments. You want to give good uh, content and tips. You want to communicate like this, like I should be really be doing a Facebook Live every week or something, right? <clears throat> to hopefully uh, not only educate you on something that you may not know about or uh, encourage you to go do something, right? Do, do something else or be more strategic in your marketing perhaps or your business. Uh, that's my goal for my group because that's the focus, but depending on the focus of your group, you want to encourage, inspire, educate, um, and get people to respond, right? So our, our intention in our group needs to be to get people to respond. So however we can do that. So I've tried it all <laughs> and still not everybody totally, um, 
replies, responds, or engages on a regular basis. It's only just a few select, you know, maybe a couple dozen people out of hundreds in the group, which is, I know, it's disappointing and disheartening when it's your own group and you're like, why aren't they paying attention? They said they wanted the information. How come they're not watching or how come they're not paying attention? And it's hard because you're vying for people's attention um, and they're pulled in probably hundreds of directions for attention, right? I mean, I just invited 500 people to my event in November via a Facebook event. I mean, we've got to be everywhere. So we get, we're getting these messages all over the place, whether it's a, a notification from Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or it's email or it's our cell phone and our texts and our voicemail. And um, it's just, you know, your prospects just like, are as busy as you are with me not replying and engaging on my posts on this group, for example, right? So I can only do what I can do and to hopefully either share information, uh, give you opportunities to share your stuff as well, um, and get exposure, visibility. I mean, there's things you can do in this group to get exposure and visibility. Why don't people do that all the time, or at least every so often? I don't know, because they forget. We get too busy in our own lives to actually make sure that we're still getting in front of enough people more often and in more ways, <clears throat> which is step number one of my Jumpstart Your Marketing System. Get in front of more people more often and in more ways. You've got, so on the attendee side or the the member side you need to engage in some of your groups and not just be promotional you need to engage meaning a lot of times I go into a group and I'll look for people that have questions that I can answer and I will just answer the question wholeheartedly give them like sometimes it's a really long answer I type it all out give them really good information and tips and resources I might say, oh, by the way, you can find more on my site, or if you want to talk to me, let's have a call, you know, private message me. But that's not all I say. I don't just promote, promote, and oh, you can't, I'm not going to share this information unless you buy from me. That's not what I do. I wholeheartedly give, 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 with a little bit of asking in between as far as going here or whatnot. So make sure you're doing that in the groups that you belong to, but then how can you how can you embrace that in a group that you're going to run? Now, I run multiple groups. I run this group, which is free to the public, free to anybody uh, who has a business or wants to start a business <clears throat> and wants to learn how to make more money in the business and stop working so hard. So that's the purpose of this group. I also run the International Speaker Network. So if you happen to be a speaker or know that speaking is a great way to help you build your business, you want to go join that one, perhaps. International Speaker Network, and you can find that on Facebook. <clears throat> that one's free to join. Um, I also run the corresponding meetup group to over on meetup.com. And then I have two paid groups, one for my Live Big Mastermind, which is my higher end coaching program that I run with 26 members. And then I have my International Entrepreneur Network, which is the lower price membership uh, the $7 a month where you can get access to me and, and other members who can help you grow your business. So that one is much, there's much more training. <clears throat> there's access calls when you join the International Entrepreneur Network. Just saying, if you're interested, it's $7 a month. So instead of just getting a random tip here and there, you can actually get some coaching feedback uh, masterminding, get on the hot seat, get a lot of your questions answered uh, in that group as well. You can go to iEntrepreneurNetwork.com for that. I, the letter I, EntrepreneurNetwork.com for that. Um, but in, so in your groups though, so in the groups I do different things, in, whether it's a paid group or a free group or a, um, yeah, regardless, I do different things. In my paid groups, I'm mostly um, reminding them about calls. I'm also giving them really good tips or content. I'm interviewing people uh, that they need to know about. Um, I'm also doing live Facebook in there as well. Uh, it's a lot more in-depth 
kind of uh, training and more resources because it's a paid group, right? <clears throat> I also, in my mastermind, because they get everything in the kitchen sink with me pretty much and, and unlimited access to me, uh, we share each other stuff. So if we're doing an event um, or a webinar or somebody has a five-day challenge or something like that, they'll put it in the, in the group and then they'll give us marketing copy to share. And so all you have to do is just copy paste and then click share and share it out. And so everybody kind of helps promote each other. So it's an implied place where you can promote each other. And people in free groups don't always do that, uh, which would be great if you did it more. I mean, if you could share each other's stuff. Um, but a lot of free groups, they don't allow too much self-promotion. I don't mind a little bit of it. I'm not gonna shut you down if you do a little bit. It's the people that maybe get on and all they post every time is like, here, buy from me, here, buy from me, here, buy from me, and you never see them again. Those are the people that, you know, I warn and then I eventually block them if they don't stop. So, um, but do something, be interactive, start a group and be interactive, be the leader. Um, you'll highlight yourself as the expert in your industry. I just helped a, a client actually start a group called Healthy Sexy Kitchen. You can look her up, her name's Kiki. Uh, and uh, she was a little resistant to doing a group, I must say. She didn't know how it was gonna benefit her. And within, I think, two days and a weekend, she got like 29 members, and now it's now her goal is 50, and then go on, on and on, right? And I think it'll grow pretty, pretty rapidly, actually, for what she's doing. But it's a great place to nurture. It's kind of like your email marketing list. So when people opt in on your website, you have permission to email them and market them, and, and you can educate them, but you can also promote things to them. Uh, so the, the Facebook group is kind of like that in a, in a way. They're not necessarily on your email newsletter, and you can't automatically just add them either. You have to invite them to your email newsletter, um, which I'll do in the comments when I'm done if you guys want to get up. Get signed up, but um, <clears throat> but it's that same kind of thing. They're they're interested in the topic. They might be interested in you or following you a little bit deeper than just looking at your posts, and they want to engage with you a little bit more. So it could be those types of people that you um, share more promotional stuff with. That what's going on and what they can have access to. I like to give discounts and stuff to people in the groups where I belong and it, you know, like I did last week. Last week I was running a big, huge promotion for early bird registration for my November Jumpstart Your Biz in a Weekend event. And it was interesting though, because very few people in my groups took advantage of it. And some people from my email list did and a few people from Facebook, but it was shocking. And I know it's, it's it, it was shocking how many people didn't take advantage considering there was like hundreds of dollars of added bonuses just for signing up for an event. Um, and all the bonuses would have been well outweighed the cost of the ticket in the first place. So I don't know, go figure. Again, talking it up to people are so busy, they don't even stop to pay attention to even really good deals from people that they want. So you just have to kind of keep doing it, keep doing all of it and being in front of everybody and the bright people will come through and over time more people will come in and yes, you could do Facebook ads and pay for things, but unless you have a clear strategy and someone to actually help you implement those ads and create those ads for you with testing and all that, you don't wanna waste your time. You don't even wanna waste 10 or 50 bucks on a boost or something. Seriously, there's too much to know about Facebook ads to try to haphazardly, randomly boost a, a, a post. So I don't recommend doing that to anybody unless you engage in Facebook advertising help from somebody. And that's not me, but I have people that do that. So if you're interested in that, you can comment below and I can recommend who you might talk to. So hopefully this was helpful, got your juices flowing about what else you can do here on Facebook. And moving forward, you just really do want to have a group. I know Facebook is going to put a lot of emphasis on, like I said, their groups. You want to be having one. And um, it's just something, I mean, I'm part of probably 200 groups, but I'm only active in maybe 20 of them, okay? And actually, the other day, I was going through my list of groups and, and removing myself from some, because sometimes people shut their group down or they 
archive them and you don't want to linger in groups. I just wanted to tighten it up a little bit as to which ones I wanted to stay in. It, I didn't get very far, but I did remove like, I don't know, 15 or so. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys have a great week ahead of you. Get some shit done. <laughs> um, get in front of a bunch of new prospects. Get some paying clients and be productive. If you have any trouble, post your comments in the group, you guys, because you never know what we're going to suggest or what kind of resources we can push, uh, you know, connect you with. So have a great day, you guys. Bye now.